there's one final property of Euclidean space that's really important, and it, it summarizes the idea that the shortest distance between two points is a line. At least in Euclidean space this is true. So the idea is that if we move along this vector u and then we move along this vector v to get to the point u plus v, those vectors u plus v, then this distance that I could have traveled instead is shorter than the sum of these two distances, u and v. And it turns out that this works even in Rn. This is, this is true even in Rn. Then that's, it's a really useful fact. It's used quite a lot, actually. It's, it's a very commonplace. So the theorem is that u plus v is less than or equal to u plus v here. And so we can actually prove this, and it's not too bad. Well, we have that u plus v is equal to, if we, if we remember our last theorem, this is going to be equal to u squared plus 2 times u dot with v plus v squared. Well, this is equal to, right, so the dot product, we know what that is. We have that original theorem essentially characterizing the dot product. This is plus 2 norm u square, or not square, just norm u. V. I keep saying norm, and I don't mean to, but there's a good reason, and we'll talk about why I keep saying it here in a second. V. It turns out that this number is also a norm, and we'll, we'll define what that is. Well, the cosine of theta is always less than or equal to 1, so this is where I get my less than equal to from. Oh, and this should be a squared, of course, guys. You should have, you should have corrected me from the beginning. So this is going to be less than or equal to u squared plus 2. I get rid of the cosine, and I get u v plus the length squared of v. But now I can factorize this form, this, this side, right? So this is going to be equal to the length of u plus the length of v squared. And now I have two positive things, and I can take the square root of both sides of this inequality, and that gives me the inequality u plus v squared not squared now, I want to get rid of the square, is less than or equal to u plus v. And that's it. Pretty simple. The only thing that I really used here was that formula and uh, that the cosine of theta is less than or equal to 1. And I get this, this nice fact, and this shows up, this is such a useful fact, I can't, I can't really express it to you how useful this is. This, this comes up all the time, as silly and as simple as it might be. So we can summarize all, all the facts about our notion of length and distance, or the, uh, the magnitude. So the first fact is often called positivity. And it says that the length is greater than or equal to zero, and if the length of u equals zero, this happens if and only if u itself is equal to zero. So two, uh, this fact is also called homogeneity. And this is the formula that we, we derived last time, 
where we actually were we were able to extract this r scaling factor if we just took the absolute value and multiplied it by the length. And the third fact is the triangle inequality, which is that if I have u and I add it to v, this is less than or equal to u v. Very nice, triangle inequality. And uh, whenever an assignment of real numbers to vectors satisfies one through three, we call it a norm. Which is why I've been calling it a norm this entire time. Because it satisfies these three properties, and uh, these, these three properties you can kind of uh, abstractify them, and that's, that's why they're very useful.